I have a rain garden and I have a rain barrel now, compliments of Clean Wisconsin and MMSD. And as a result of that, I get to use my rain barrel to water my vegetable garden. Cucumbers fresh from the garden, kale all year long, you know, tomatoes, and then I always have such a great harvest. I can share that with other people. And I actually have seen a difference. Rain barrel water, things seem to just kind of pop a little bit better. I don't know, maybe it's just mine over matter. <laughs> this week after uh, eight or nine years of doing this outreach project, we reached a milestone of our 700th rain barrel installed. And it, it's just a really exciting milestone. We meet a lot of residents in the community at community events like resource fairs, neighborhood gatherings, church group meetings, but we also meet residents somewhat organically in the neighborhood when we're doing an installation. An example of that just happened today with Miss Simpson across the street. She came by to see what we were up to and one of my colleagues from MMSD walked over there and, and saw that she maybe has enough space to do a rain barrel installation. So that word of mouth is really important. This program essentially is a neighborhood outreach program where we educate and encourage people to install green infrastructure on their property. And how we do that is we offer to install a rain barrel or rain garden on their property for free. Uh, we live in um, the 30th Street corridor. We're, we're in a flood zone. In 2010, there was that 100 year uh, rain consistent over a period of time, which caused flooding. Water moves, so it just doesn't fall and stay in one place. It actually moves, and water was moving like a river down the streets. And so the force of the water actually destroyed homes. It moved some homes off their foundation. So we don't think about that, but you know, water is our friend, but water can be destructive if you don't respect it. It was pretty bad. It was pretty devastating to the community. We're doing large-scale stormwater management projects like basins and things like that. And we want to kind of pair that with talking to residents about how they can also do something similar on their own property so that we can all be part of the solution of managing flooding and preventing runoff and stormwater um, from getting into the lakes and rivers and causing pollution. And MMSD, Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewage District, wanted to do some things to mitigate the flooding and so they started this program of community participation on mitigating stormwater. And then Ethan came on board. <laughs> Everybody in the neighborhood really likes him. Most of us elders see him as, you know, like a member of the family. Um, and so he's much appreciated around. He knows people, he can call them by name. He can tell you the address or the house and where they live. And I walk a lot in our neighborhoods and I would always see the rain garden signs. And then as I begin to see the flowers grow and as I begin to see butterflies, I wanted to know more. And then I met Clean Wisconsin, Ethan. And basically after that, we continued to connect and talked about rain gardens and rain barrels and how that works, how it is just perfect for what we're doing in the Northwest Basin area. And I said, I want to be on board with that. And he's very willing, you know, you, some people will give you all the ideas, but they don't want to do the work. Ethan gives the ideas and, and he does the work. These are well th thought out strategies of how we can get the community involved. And we have several schools. Our K, K to 8 school, Ben Franklin, we planted a rain garden over there. So yeah, it's engaging, you know, the residents, the, the generational residents, you know, the schools. Um, and so when I think of all the work we've done, we've done a lot. Yeah. Yeah, in the day to day, you know, one day at a time. But right. but over the years, it, we have you, you look the partnership. Back, you look back on it, it's really a lot. <laughs>